What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and I'm here today to do another Batman Arkham video. Now, I got a lot of topics I want to actually discuss, but things keep coming out that pushes those topics away. So, to quickly start off this video, I'm going to be, let, let's go over everything really, really fast. I'm going to be talking about Kevin Conroy, and we be talking about this supposed insider, or just somebody who knows information, let's say, that we don't. This is, again, uh, coming just from the internet. These are just my opinions. I know a lot of people get very very mad that I'm clickbaiting or that I'm I'm you know talking about a, a something that's never going to happen they can all come back once this game formally gets announced which seems to honestly be any day now I do want to discuss that just a little bit uh, as well but future videos you can expect there's gonna be videos every couple days on the channel I want to talk about release date predictions which by the time I maybe make that video it could be too late we could already know the release date but as of right now that'll be Wednesday's video I want to talk about if the game is actually an Arkham game Game. That'll be uh, Friday's video, uh, and I, I do want to make other kind of more fun videos as well next week, but we'll see because honestly, again, an announcement could come any day. All right, so let's go over some news that's happened over the past few days. Uh, hopefully, you guys liked the video I did on Friday or Saturday, the the, the uh, leaked title and stuff. I actually had a lot of fun doing that, showing pictures and stuff, and I kind of want to do the same thing here. But Kevin Conroy, okay, he doesn't necessarily confirm a new game, uh, a new game is happening, but I want to go over what specific specifically was asked to him and how he responded and I, I think there's a lot to read off of that and and in terms of like what he could have said in in exchange for what he said that he just flat out didn't say so he was asked in an interview with J.O.E. Uh, Conroy was asked whether he is returning to the role of Batman for the upcoming Warner Bros. Montreal game which is rumored to focus on the criminal cabal called the Court of Owls now I don't I have yet to find an actual verbatim uh, uh, actual question asked to him uh, and, and that is a leading question anyway. So if they did ask him, are you returning to the new Warner Bros. Montreal Arkham game? That's like saying there is an Arkham game. And at this point, it seems like online media is 100% like it's going to happen just when it happens. You know, that's debatable, but it's happening. It seems to be where everybody's on the same level of. There's just still a couple people that have something in their brains that's telling them it's not going to happen online that we see in the comments. But, uh, you know, regardless. So that was the question. Again, it was a leading question but his he offered a simple response quotes i'm not that's it that was his response is i'm not so they asked him are you returning to play batman in the upcoming warner bros game that's going to be batman and he said i'm not now okay so that's the first part i guess we'll go through the whole thing and i'll talk about what i think of it and when the interviewer noted that this is disappointing to hear connery added this quotes i know i don't know why that's it and then, the, and then the article went on to say, at this stage, we also don't know why he isn't coming back. I saw this a lot. I clicked on a lot of articles to see if I could find you know, more like in quotation words of what exactly was asked. And for, you know, firstly, I couldn't find it. And secondly, everybody seems to be surprised by the fact that Conroy's not coming back, quote unquote, when it's like, do these people know that these games are made from... It's, it's almost like the same people in the comments. They're like, but I thought Arkham Knight was the last Arkham game. Well, yeah, but there's two studios, and Rocksteady said they were done with the Arkham games, but Warner Bros. Montreal never said anything. So, like, it feels like the these online journalists, you can't go by them. They really... Again, it's what I've actually been telling you guys all along. Don't go by mainstream. Don't follow them. I'm not saying you have to follow me. There's plenty of other Arkham channels out there, but they're clueless. They just jump from big story to big story, and if Batman's the big story, they'll jump on it, but they don't really care. They don't really know about you know what's happened with the behind-the-scenes stuff of Arkham. We actually do care. That's just, you know, that's an aside. All right, so here's my analysis of that. Again, leading question asking him, basically telling him, like, okay, there's a game happening. It's an Arkham game, and it's by Warner Bros. Montreal. Are you voicing? it and then he said I'm not now the questions leading but he could he didn't have to say I'm not and I know I've seen people online say well you know he he likes tweets and and he's talked a lot about you know wanting to return as Batman so maybe that's why this question was asked and, and there's a lot of stuff like defending him and defending that well he didn't really confirm anything or this doesn't give us anything to go off of I disagree 
I disagreed a lot with what a lot of people say about these Arkham games, so I'm going to stick with that uh, different kind of mindset. I think that if you, I feel like he knows. I 100% feel like he knows, and I've also, I'm also going to hold on to my theory, and and this could, you know, this could sink me, but I'm going to hold on to this theory until it's proven otherwise that he already has voiced or is in the middle of voicing Batman for a Rocksteady game, not a Rocksteady Batman game, a Rocksteady Justice League or a Rocksteady blank game that's got Batman in it. I think Kevin Conroy is in the next Rocksteady game. I made a video about that. I know I titled the video Batman's in it, but I think Kevin Conroy's in it. So I think he's just playing clueless. I think he's doing it on purpose. Uh, and I, at the same time, I also think he knows that this is happening. He's friends with Roger Craig Smith. Uh, and, and also, like, the response of, like, I, I know I don't know why. Yes, you do. You know why you're not in the game. And so, like, that, that right there, I, I don't know if he just – wasn't thinking that through logically, but I don't necessarily understand that answer. They said Warner Bros. Montreal. So, like, you know that it's an Arkham game. You know it's their Arkham game, which means it's a prequel to Arkham Asylum after, you know, sequel to Arkham Origins, and we know Roger Craig Smith. We know it's a completely different voice cast. That'd be like people getting upset that Mark Hamill wouldn't voice the Joker. It'd be Troy Baker, but... But we know that because it already ha So, like, something like that, like, it already happened. We know how they work. So... Kevin Conroy's answer of, like, I don't know why I'm not. Well, it's like, yes, you do. You you would know exactly why you're not because Roger Craig Smith. So it's like, you know, I'm trying to read into what he didn't say and why he didn't say other things. And I just find it suspicious. Did he say, like, well, yeah, I know they're making it, and my good friend Roger, you know, he's voicing Batman. That's why I'm not doing it. No, but he answered, I'm not. He gave out a flat answer to, like, Yes, they are making a game. I'm not Batman, though. It's somebody else. Like, that's the way he responded. Again, the second question, he responds a little bit more iffy, where it's like he's not even thinking it through logically. But, you know, maybe they caught him off guard. Maybe, you know, that question was a little off to him or whatever. Um, but that's that part. So that's the Kevin Conroy thing. Just something, you know, this is just extra stuff. Every day, guys, new stuff tends to happen. All right, now we have this James Sigfield. Now, He's only got 97 followers. He's got nothing on Twitter. It doesn't say he works for, like, nothing. There's absolutely nothing about this guy. So I don't know, you know, how much we want to put into this. I'm considering him, quote-unquote, an insider. Again, just because uh, from what he wrote, it sounds like he knows something that we don't. So maybe he has a friend. You know, who, who knows his connections? But 97 followers, you feel like he maybe only – he, he kind of has to have a friend, right? Because he doesn't really seem to have a huge following. So here's what happened. Batman Arkham videos. I don't know if this was uh, – I don't know if this came through because of my video or if this was just because people were talking about the play test. But I'm honored if they uh, covered something that I said, and they I don't think they liked it. They said Warner Bros. Games Montreal has been sending invites for play tests since last November. Rogue Rogue One has received six emails over the past year. That doesn't mean anything, uh, but if Warner Bros. Montreal is playtesting a new Batman game, yada, 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 it's going to come out soon. So basically he's saying whether or not it's to my video, whether or not it's to people getting excited about the play test, it's been happening a long time. It doesn't necessarily mean anything new. All it means is they're still doing it, and it means it's coming out sooner rather than later. I actually said that, though, in the video, that playtest is normal. Playtests go on for a long time, and I think it just means that we're getting this game very soon. So I actually said the exact same thing as this person. I know some of you people look up to uh, Batman Arkham videos. They're fine. I don't, I don't watch any of their stuff. Okay, so James Sigfield said to that tweet, though, this is the important thing, he tweeted back uh, to this thread, and he said, If what I've heard is correct, the game will not only be announced this month, but will come out sooner than you think. All right. Now, that's a lot to just throw at us for having 97 followers. I hope he watches these videos. I really do. I truly do. And if you're here, James, I want you to explain yourself. I don't like I, I, I'm respecting you. I want to lean into this because I want to believe it. I, I want this to be true. But here's another thing. Even if he's not an insider, even if people can make it sound like they know things and they don't actually know things, and I'm not claiming that. I Just by looking at it, I want to believe it. Just like the playtest stuff, looking at it, I want to believe it. Maybe if you think about it a little bit more, you won't believe this, James, but you know that, that's, that's your own opinion. You don't have to believe him. You don't have to believe me. It's totally cool. Even if you don't want to believe him, though, what he's actually saying, again, it, or, okay, not that. If you don't want to believe that he's an insider or he knows something you don't, that's totally cool. Because what he's saying is stuff that I've already been saying for months. 
is the game's going to be announced this month, and it'll come out sooner than you think. Now, I know people are going to say, you didn't say it was coming out this month. All right, yeah, you're right. I, I keep saying it's going to come out this day and that day, even though I actually never do that. Um, it, I do believe, at the point that we're at, it does need to get announced this month. I think from everything we've seen, not just from him, but from people with verified blue check marks, which I hate going off of blue check mark people, but in the game industry, they do tend to know the most. Even we go back to uh, Saturday's video, or even the video I made before that, people are saying that they've basically seen it, that they know it's real, you guys are going to be impressed. So it's getting super close. We have playtests happening tomorrow and Wednesday. People have said that they have seen it. This could honestly be announced within the next day or two. Like tomorrow or Wednesday, we could just wake up and this game could be announced. It's totally possible, but I think we're in that any day now scenario. And I've been saying that for a long time, and I still hold that true. If they announce it tomorrow, what stopped them from announcing it late September or at Comic-Con? Like, it doesn't actually make sense, but I think that's the point that we're at. Do they wait for the Origins anniversary to do something? Maybe. Maybe they could wait all the way to that. But... Even if, again, even if you don't believe that he's an insider and he knows something that you don't, it'll come out sooner than you think. I think that that's the thing that's like, well, anybody can say that. I, I will say that. That quote, anybody can say that because, to be honest with you, I have been saying that for a long time. Not necessarily that I think it's coming out sooner than you guys think, but from what I've seen in the comments that everybody thinks, you know, this could be like a late 2020 game, this is a next-gen game. If that's what he means, that, like, people think it's going to be fall 2020, spring 2021, and he's saying, no, it's going to be sooner than those people think, well, I've been saying that, too. I think this game is coming out in the spring of 2020, and I think this game is going to get uh, released, like, five, six months after it's announced, and again, Wednesday's video, as long as nothing happens between today and Wednesday, that'll be Wednesday's video. I'm going to walk through my entire line of thought. I'll give examples of the game's release date, when I think it's going to get Get released uh, that so we'll talk about that then but again neither of these two things I do want to make this clear you guys can say clickbait all you want people that say that don't even watch 10 seconds of the video though uh, this is just this is just more stuff to add fuel to the fire we've seen so many things over the past couple days but Kevin Conroy giving those weird answers I think that adds to it this guy again if you want to believe he's an insider then that is definitely something more to go off of right then it's like okay we can really start getting excited because it's happening. At the same time, even if you don't believe that he's saying anything new, it's kind of just what we're all thinking, right? We're all kind of saying that, and this guy just put it in a tweet. Whether or not he knows anybody, and again, I, I, I want him, if he's here, or if you guys know him, or if you want to tweet to him, not nothing mean. I don't want anybody attacking him, but I, I want to know like how he, I don't necessarily want to know how he knows it, but I'd like more more information than what he actually gave not necessary but that would just be you know that would just be a want so guys that is the end of this kind of update video let me know in the comments below what do you think for all this stuff kevin conroy this this james guy uh what do you think about the the leaked title i know it was proven fake all that stuff but just you know what do you think the title is going to be called uh the play test what do you think about that all that kind of stuff make sure you guys are liking these videos make sure you guys are subscribing and hitting that bell icon Again, I say in every single video, you guys have been rocking it. These videos have just been doing better and better, and it's all thanks to you guys. You guys are truly the absolute best, and I make these videos for you. I want to make videos for you going forward. So anything you guys want me to talk about in the future, if you guys catch wind of something that's going on in the Arkham world, let me know in any of the Batman video uh, comments. I, def I see them all, so uh, we'll make videos for all of it, okay? So I really want to make these videos about you guys. I want to start doing that in the next couple videos. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.